Al Michaels and Ronaldo Nehemiah, and on tape, we're going to take you back right now and show you the first round with four heats in the men's 110 meter hurdles. We saw Foster live looking very good earlier, and in this heat, Roger Kingdom running out of lane one from the University of Pittsburgh, the 1983 NCAA champion, and a total of six men in this heat, as we mentioned, a field of only 26 overall so the first round which was originally scheduled this morning was canceled this thus becomes the first round and here was Roger Kingdom as he got into the blocks preparatory to the 110 meter high hurdles Kingdom's been having a lot of problems in recent races and hitting a lot of hurdles and in discussing with him he's trying to work out a lot of technical flaws and basically been trying to get him to stay high on his toes and if he can not hit a lot of hurdles I think he has the best chance out of anybody challenging Greg Foster for that gold medal. Xi Quang of China and two, Javier Morato sure. of Spain, three, Nigel Walker of Great Britain, four, Eric Spence of Canada was in five, Naji Mubarak of Kuwait in lane six, and there was the start of the race, and it turned out to be no contest as Roger Kingdom had an easy time of it and won it by plenty, with Javier Morato winding up in second position, time reflected there, 13.54. Walker third. G. Klang winding up in fourth place. So things pretty much were not going according to form today in the hurdles. I think so, and, and the time is indicative of the competition that Roger King had to face. He had no problem outclassing the rest of his field, 13.54, and it gave him an opportunity to work on some of his technical errors that he's been uh, having, and he only hit one hurdle in that race. So the three Americans all qualifying very easily for the semis and the finals, which will be held tomorrow. Foster.